beautiful souls. Uh, welcome to uh, my chit chat about my decks. <laughs> my name is Missy from Phoenix Star Tarot. If you are new here, hello. And if you are coming back, thanks, thankful, thank you, love. So yeah, I want to show you guys as one of the videos for uh, 2020 almost. At the 21, we are now 21. So the, by the time I post this video, we are one day away. So happy new year. Happy new year, y'all. All the best wishes and blessings. So that being said, I just want to show you guys what I'm working with. What kind of a tarot deck, oracle decks, and so and so. So if you are into that, grab something to drink and let's hang, let's chill. Let's talk about my decks. So yeah, let's begin. So let's start with my first deck. Uh, this is not really my first first deck, but the same deck, but then in another language. That is the Rider Waite deck. Um, love it. I mean, it has no edges though, and it's just a normal Rider Waite also with the with the um, writings on it. But yeah, if you look at it, it's very um, bright in color though. But it's just uh, as the normal right away. Lots of tarot deck are based on this deck. So yeah, this deck, this deck though. This deck tells me when I read with this deck, it tells me a story. It, uh, it, it reads, every deck of mine reads differently. And this one tells a story every time. Like it shows me also with this deck, I often see other peoples in it like who is also coming from the outside in the person's um, in the person's life to change things up except uh, the universe you know the the, the higher can I, I can also see uh, other people I also see it with with the other decks but with this deck especially I can see they tell me a story about the person's life the person past and how things are going so i love to read this uh, deck with um with love reading when i do the two side to side reading uh to see the, that person the person interest uh side i love to read with the uh, right of weight i don't know why because then i can see the whole story from um where they are to uh what's gonna be so yeah that is the rider weight um by the rider weight by uh, pamela coleman smith uh, under the direction of arthur edward uh arthur edward weight though we question that though <laughs> but okay let's go to my next one for the next one uh there are two versions you have um the indie the, the first edition that came out that was already edged and then this one so this one isn't edged but i edged them myself with bright uh, green and then the higher can i did with uh, what darker uh, green so it matches also the back so like this you know so this deck is the light sears tarot by chris m um that is the crea deck creator and also the designer. This deck was mm, my second deck different from the Rider Waite, but this actually it's the same as the Rider Waite. But um, yeah, uh, because I had that one for a very long time, the Rider Waite. So with the light sears, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's uh, modern. Um, love it uh, this deck uh, reads very mm, how can i say it like it does tell the story as it is like straight right away like that but it also just gentle which the right away what i didn't say is very brutal songs uh, um, sometimes uh, that was dutch it's very brutal sometimes like it, it's just not brutal it's more like um very how do you say it like just say that it is no bs don't 
be a surrounded. That is the right weight for me when I work with that deck. But this deck is like um, gentle. It does speak the truth, but it's gentle. It's gentle in its way of telling what is happening. This one I like very much. And also what I was forgot to say, um, every deck reads different. Like with the nine of, nine of Wands, this Nine of Wands tells me like she knows her, bo uh, her boundaries. And the other Nine of Wands with the Rider Waite, it's like he is learning to know his boundaries. You know, like he is now trying to set his boundary. He's been through a lot and he's now trying to um, um, n try, try to put boundaries, you know, where this one says, no, bitch, no, bitch. Okay, it's still here and not further in that kind of a way. So, yeah. So, this is then the Light Sea Sterile. This star is also very handy for people that, that are coming from the Rider weight going to another deck. It's beautiful. This one I also love because I see a uh, uh, scent. Wait a minute. <laughs> I show you. I see this in it. Like, it's like with time you will manifest whatever that is that you will want to manifest so yeah empress so that is it with the um, light sieves there now let's go to the next one so for the next deck we have the fountain tarot this one is Edge. This one I have, I have it a very long time and I really, if you look at this side, you can see where I use it the most. You have some uh, uh, effects that the silver is gone. But for the time that I have this deck and I know because I have other decks that, is, that are also gilded and they don't take this long to do this but they'd be like okay we gilded it <laughs> but yeah but this one really it, it really goes pretty well so this one is gilded silver gilded if you can see like this these are the bags this is created by jonathan size says and written by jason gruel designed by andy Torado, no, uh, Todaro, Todaro, Todaro. I hope I said it right. So <laughs> this is the Fountain of Terror. This deck has also an extra card. There is the universe, I believe. I don't know out of my head, but okay. So these cards, this deck, let me talk about this deck. This deck, when I had this deck, um, this deck really, uh, I did personal readings, but this deck, uh, I used to do personal readings. I don't do that anymore, but this deck really was like, no, nah, honey, I don't know, but I'm here for you. Okay. It wasn't, uh, it was like it, it, owned, oh, this is the extra card, the fountain. Um, it only wanted me to read first uh, with for myself with it and i found that it is so soft not soft in speaking but really telling your soul it's it really talks about your soul what your inner deeper um, feelings are uh, it's it's like a, um, a a blanket like a really soft hawk kind of a thing it's light as you can see also with the colors it's very light but it's 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 gentle and but it's like a very caring deck like really beautiful so uh, in the beginning i only read for myself with this deck uh, and later on um, i got the permission to, to also use it with others so that is why i'm using it now also with other people but it took a long time it was like no first i want to read you and then um yeah other people so this deck first 
the when I when I got it also with the light series that I was like really like oh this is my deck I'm not gonna use it with other people the light series that I, I had it more like I wanted um I wanted one more of it because it was so beautiful and I was like no I don't want to be ruined because with time you will see the edges are like uh, used it's a huge stack if you use it and I was like no I want to use it I want to buy one more because you know I don't want to yeah I don't want to I, I, just I don't know just to be sure <laughs> and with this one uh, I didn't have it I had it more like I wanted to be uh, I, after I use it for myself, was like, no, this is my deck. But then later on, I, um, it's like, okay, you can use it with other people. Then I was like, okay, then it's not my deck, you know, in that kind of way. There is always one deck that you only read for yourself with. And that was this deck. And then later on, it was like, now I'm done with you, honey. Uh, next. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the fountain. Then we have the uh, Crow Tarot by MJ uh Created by MJ Kulonane. Kulonane. I will write them all so that you can read with me because, you know. So, Kulonane. I don't want to ruin everybody's name. So, this deck isn't gilded. But, I was trying something out. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, let me see. Because the other one, I, I, I gilded some, you know. And I was like, let me gild the higher canna and some other cards. I want to gild them uh, golden. So I gild them golden. But I was like, mm, shall I do the whole deck or not? Because it's it's really beautiful with the bags, if you look at it. But then I was like, no, because if I do, if I put the cards like this, they have different cards colors like that so it's like mm. so i'm in doubt if i'm still gonna gild them all or not okay so the crow tarot this one uh this this deck is my first tarot that is animal based like a bird uh, like the crow slash raven um but it's beautiful it's 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 really beautiful also you see it also differently because you're going to see it in a more of a bird perspective like how things also is like you don't see faces on it you see a bird so it's really different in in that way but i love it it's very deep also This is more a deck that I will put pull out if I don't want to do a very deep, deep reading, but I want also um, the answer to come like, okay, this is how is things is happening. Like the Rider Waite, but then um, the Rider Waite is very deep, very detailed. And sometimes go also um, 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 very in the in the past. Like tell me things that I'm like okay. Uh, it's like with this card, with this deck, um, I'm like okay. Um, if I have, I have a question, um, I can get it. And with the right away, they'd be like, no, I'm gonna tell you why things are like that first, and how it came to be. And what is happening? The right away, it is really like a, a gossip kind of a <laughs> auntie, you know. A girl, sit down. Let me tell you how things is and was and what had happened that your mama and your daddy came together. Okay, in that kind of a way is the right away. And and sometimes I'm like, uh, honey, we ain't got time for that. So just tell me what I want to know and what I need to know. Like, and then I will pull out. Um, the crow tarot and yeah so that's it and sometimes you know this one also goes deep but this 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 one also goes deep it not sometimes this one also goes deep but it doesn't tell me like um um, everything that I need to know like he she they it and her mama auntie daddy everybody and the whole family it doesn't it doesn't go that deep like let me tell you about it. sit down okay you need to know this like 
we ain't got no dots. So we pulling out this one. So let's go to the next one. So for this one, the Deviant Moon Tarot by uh, Patrick Valenza. I got the borderless edition. Um, first, I must say, the first time I saw this deck, I was like, oh, hell no. No, that is too deep, honey. That, that, that's the crew. I don't think I can do it. No, I'm not doing it. And then I keep on seeing them on YouTube because I love watching. Um, I love watching uh, uh, um, people that the flip throughs and kind of a thing or people that talk about um, uh, the tarot decks. So I have a few names that I like. I will read, write them here, especially uh, nowadays I'm with Lisa, Lisa pa Papes. I found her this year. Oh, big mistake, big mistake. <laughs> Big mistake. My wish list, uh, my wish list became longer. Okay, so in that perspective, but I will talk about her uh, with my uh, thank you. Uh, I suppose I already posted that one uh, on the thirty one of um, today, so the thirty one of December. So um, let's see. This deck, this deck is more of a shadow. Oh, also I gilded mine. This one was not gilded, but I gilded them red. And I don't know, it's so beautiful. It came out like, a, 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 no, I don't know, but it came out like dark red, made it more beautiful. I love it. If you look at it, it's, it's just nice. Okay, nice. So this deck, this deck, um, as I said, I didn't like it at first till I got used to it. I'm like, and then I bought it and I'm like, yes, yes to the deck. Okay, because it talks about the unconscious and conscious side of people. Now, not everybody is ready for this deck and it's really sad because I really love to read with it, but I'm like, uh, yes, I'm going to do it. But then <laughs> I'm like, okay, honey, you don't even have lots of subscribers. You cannot pull this one out and be like, you, you, hello, welcome to the... <laughs> It ain't gonna happen. It doesn't work like that. Not everybody is ready for it. So I will always, when I work with this one, I try to announce it like, nah, not always. And I, I will not always announce it because I'm like, no. Sometimes just two or three cards, you will not notice it. But, but yeah. Let me know if you guys like it when people read with cards like this. That you be, if you feel offended or afraid of it, uh, let me know. Write it down in the comments so I know how you guys think of uh, these kind of uh, decks, you know? Like, look at the Page of Pentacles. If you look at it, it is totally, what I'm getting is it's totally like uh, the earthly realm. Like, you don't see nothing of an emotion or something, you know. It's totally like in the wanting world, the creating world, like uh, the conscious world. Like, I gotta have this. This is what I want. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to make. In that kind of a perspective, like the wanting of things. So, yeah. Now, look how they, these are working. They are working nicely together. The one is fixing that one and the one is... This one is fixing that one and this one is fixing this one. Like, they are really beautifully working together. Ooh, this one I really like. This one. This one is more like... Um, um, Oh, I don't think if, if someone get this one and I'm telling them like, you know what, who are you in this, you know, uh, as the Ten of Pentacles, you are very happy and content, but on whose back did you build whatever that it is that you wanted? What kind of a chess game did you play to be on that top, you know? This, this deck, you cannot read it with people that are business because you will have this kind of a, this kind of a thing. Like on whose, whose back did you, uh, um, did you manage this? It depends, it depends though on what cards is more next to it in that kind of a way. But this deck, I love this deck. 
it's really deep really deep so that is it for a deviant moon by patrick valenza now let's go to the next one so this one is the Tarot of Sexu Sexual Magic by Laura Ton and artwork by Mauro De Luca. Mauro De Luca. I hope I say that right. So yeah, I love doing this with this one. <laughs> they are so slippery like... I love it here. Love. So yeah, this one is also not gilded. This one is... You know, it's uh, um, lots of, uh, yeah, it, the name says so, like sexual magic, okay? So <laughs> this one, um, mm, this one is not based on the normal uh, tarot. So you don't read it so much as how you will read the um, Tarot, it's more like, I don't know, for this one, it is also telling a story, you know, and um, uh, what I got with, uh, because every time I got, a, or every time, wow, English, every time I get a new deck, I will um, just sit with it and go through it and hear the message that I need to hear, how they want to be read and what I'm feeling or what I'm getting from every uh, chord. Like the swords is more like a gameplay in this deck if you uh, look at it. And then the cups and the wands is more like passionate. If you look at the um, page of cups but uh, you will see someone very enraged for you know you can read it different every time like perhaps this person has just it depends on what cards are also surrounding it perhaps this person was taking so long to express their love to someone that his he missed his chance depends on the cards once again that surrounds it or this person is in frustration because you know time is ticking and he had yet not write down his feelings to uh, whatever that he want to express to someone you know in that kind of a way and it doesn't always because yes it is a terror of sexual magic but it doesn't always read only about the sexual it also reads just uh, uh, as you would read a normal tarot deck. So yeah, that is it for the um, tarot of sexual magic. So then we have the White Witch Tarot by Maya Daust. D Daust? I will write it out. <laughs> this one is, um, the Witch Tarot is only based on the High Erkenna. Um, so you will only see the high arcana cards uh, the deck is gold gilded if you look at it like this this is a beautiful deck y'all very deep this one is really for your unconscious like you can look at just one card look at just one card and there is so many message in one card i mean this deck really speaks y'all i love it i mean every time a different story and every time if you look it is really it goes really in your unconscious really deep like telling uh things how they are like there's it's simple some cards are really simple like the empress it's really simple but if you just take time to really sit with a card it can tell you a lot like it really can tell you a lot the wheel of fortune so yeah this is the the white witch tarot look at this beautiful right like temperance temperance it speaks of you know time is killing sometimes and like the patience that you need to have like all those things so deep i really can sit with one of these cards and and get message like bom 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 and i'm like yes 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 really deep and then you have also from those busy cards with lots of things happening yeah this is why this is um 
the, as, I haven't have in the cards yet, in the tarot cards, uh, the year 2021, I want to have five indie decks that I really uh, want, but my indie decks have to be this deep. <laughs> you know in that perspective they don't have to be like you know so simple i will write down my five indie decks so you guys know about which one i'm talking about but my indie decks have to really uh, be this deep or deeper or you know i have to really um i have to i want some um depth in them when you sit with them and they, that they will tell you more So oh, yeah, look at the lovers. I already like beautiful, right? It's it's it can be a heart partnership, partnership with a heart. It can be a business partnership. It can be a spiritual partnership. Some someone from you know from your tribe, you know, in that kind of a perspective. You can see it in lots of ways. So yeah, you can work um, um, also with this one. I, I did the 18 plus reading. You you can re read with this one in different categories. You know, it just tells you what you need to know. It goes that deep with you. So this is the a White Witch Tarot by My Goss. The next one is the Good Tarot. Um, the good tarot. I put this one as no, it's not the last one, but the one that is not really tarot, tarot. I mean, oracle. I mean, it's not really based. I don't know how we're gonna put this, but <laughs> this one I will not use as tarot, tarot. It's more like, uh, like, uh, I don't know, kind of an oracle, but okay. The artist is Jenna Del Grot. I will like uh, this and I also write it down. Jenna de la Grotaglia. Jenna de Grotaglia. It's a beautiful name though, if I didn't butcher it like that. De la Grotaglia. Mm. Um, that is the artist. And the author is Colette Baron Reed. So, yeah. Colette Baron Reed, I don't know. Every time I have to look for the 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 artist it's like you need to search like for a, i don't know let's get that out but <laughs> okay but um these cards lots of people had issue oh, also they are not gilded or whatever they are not ads uh, so yeah these cards lots of people had issues with them uh, when i uh, look at the walkthrough people uh, uh, talking about them like uh, why the good tarot what is it with a good this is my card yeah, i love this card this card um um so yeah but i do get it though but that is why you don't really know in because it's not it's not an oracle you can read it as a tarot but it's not a tarot you can read it as an oracle you know in that way but if because sometimes what I also do with a thank you, you know, I will just shuffle and let the cards lay themselves. This, these cards, these cards are beautiful to tell a story. And I love to put these cards together with the, um, the another Col uh, Colette Benarit's work. Um, oh, look at that. Alberto Filoldo and Colette Ben Reed and Marcelo Labos. But okay, with this one, put those two together and shuffle. I had that idea from um, from another YouTuber, um, Santero. Love her. You guys, I will put some link down below for her. Love her reading. So she put those, she puts 
cards together and then shuffle it and it will lay beautiful and it will tell a story beautiful. There is also with the, another uh, Colette Baron Reed that I have, the spirit animal also. These cards just, I love them with uh, uh, other oracle cards, like they really tell a story. So yeah, so this, this one isn't bad, I love it. I love it. I, I cannot speak bad about it. I just don't know in which category, category to put it in. But uh, yeah, they are beautiful. I really have lots of Colette Baron Reed. I realized uh, just now that, that I really do love her work though. Or the artist that she works with also. Because for me, um, I don't like the books. I'm just, uh, you know, I don't like the books. It's For me, it's the artwork. It, it's the artwork that speaks because I do intuitive reading and I'm like, uh, I need to hear the message within. Like this is the nine of fire. It reads every time different from me. It depends on, on, on what I'm seeing in it. So that is why I'm really feel drawn to the artwork. Like she, she really knows how to work with uh, the artists and, and let them, um, um, also the collaboration because you know she's also doing something i think you know otherwise we wouldn't have it but that is yeah the the working together the this one is from the uh, box it's really beautiful with the artist i really like it like this one the six of fire normally you will see in the normal rider weight someone on a horse with lots of other people celebrating him go, go coming in like I have won and this is totally you will not see that in this card this is totally different like yeah sometimes I see it like the Chinese uh, lamp how do you say that lampion <laughs> I don't know but that that when they fire things up you know in that way so this is the good tarot now let's go to another one that is a tarot but not oracle tarot let's go uh, the next one dreams of gaia tarot now this one wasn't gilded uh, um, but or edge how you guys say that wasn't edge or gilded i don't know but i did it myself in the color black the first a uh, few edition they it was gold gilded but they had lots of issue with that so um, I wanted it to have it in gold but then I got mine and they were like uh, I called them like uh, why isn't it gold gilded they were like no uh, we don't print that one anymore so I was like okay then I will do my black honey no problems but okay this one this one is also a tarot but not a tarot uh I, no this one i totally do not read as a tarot this one is totally different every time i try it but mm -mm, it doesn't work you need, really need to uh, see the story as it is in this uh with the dream of gaia tarot oh also by raven uh, pelan if i said it right raven Ravien, Ravien Pelan. Yo, I'm from the Caribbean. I will butcher your name like I, 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 I'm your nephew, okay? Or a niece. So, <laughs> the, um, so yeah, this, this deck, I really don't grab uh, often for this deck, strangely enough. But if I use it, I use it more as a... Oh, this card I love. That is the... Um, but that is on the box but yeah i really use it as um an oracle or just to spread a lot of cards like sit down with a tea and let it let the cards talk themselves and see what the story is in it like it's more like a um, a deck that i use as a storytelling kind of a thing like let let them let it fly out the way they want and and see what the message is about so yeah this is not a deck though that i will you i haven't used it like that like 
like I use the Rider Waite kind of a way. Ooh, I really love this one. These cards are beautiful, yo. I, I'm not gonna lie. They are beautiful and they work nicely. It is just that you really need to read them different. I read them different because they speak different. Like this is the Eight of, um, eight of Swords. Like... Oh, what you put out you always get back you know watch out what you say because or do because once goes up but you will hurt yourself also in that kind of a way like yeah I don't know you don't see the normal eight of swords what you usually see in the rider weight you don't see it in this one it's different So yeah, oh this one I like, this one I really love, like these cards read alright, okay, it does uh, uh, really, these cards read beautiful, beautifully, beautiful, reads beautiful, you know, if you just take time with them, but my advice is don't try to read them as the rider weight because it doesn't work like that it, it it's really gonna confuse you because the the pictures is different from what you will see just go with the cards and sit with them and you will get the message of whatever it is that you need to receive in that way i read them because yeah there is one card though i was hoping i was hoping to see that one but I don't see it like it's in here. I'm, I'm going to let you guys know because you, you have to see that one. Like uh, that is my card. I don't know. The first time I saw that card, I was like, Whew, yes, honey, honey. Oh, here he is. Also, look at that. How sexy is he? But if you look closely what i don't want to do because otherwise it will ruin it for me because i love a he but this deck is like you can also see a she in some of the picture like it it's like some of them are so natural how do you say that like you can swing them both ways like is it a man or is it a woman is it a woman or is it a man like some men looks feminine and some uh, feminine looks like you know uh, men but <laughs> look at this picture closely what do you guys see a man or a woman i don't want you to come <laughs> come with what you guys see okay but I can see a woman in it, but I don't want to see it because otherwise it will ruin it for me. Because look at them eyes. Look at them eyes. The focus. I love a man that has a sexy focus. I love a very focused man. Okay. But look at that. Look at that. Ain't he sexy? He, she. Because I can see a breast. But okay. That being said, this is the dream of Gaia Tarot. So as I was saying, yeah, this one, uh, 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 we already talked about it, but okay. So yeah, um, then I uh, work with these cards and I get the information that I need to get quick and fast, but very um, detailed. So um, it works beautiful. This is then um, the White Sage Tarot. Like, look at this devil card. It's so like not scary, but it really tells you that, you know, um, I'm getting more like, uh, I always see it more like it is the story that has been told, you know, like Adam and Eve kind of a way, but it is you that decide. You have your own life in hand. You have to decide what you do or will not do. Are you going to be seductive or whatever? You know, it's, it's different every time. So yeah, I love these cards. That is the white sage. Now for the sun and moon tarot, also based on um, by Vanessa Decord, also based on uh, kind of uh, Egyptian. Ooh, my bitch, 
I really need to put down the um um I will do that on Instagram. All my king of swords that I'm like my boss teach, you know, that I love. So um this that not etched. Oh, the white sage petal also not etched. Um but this one I was thinking of um do them black. I did it with some of them. Um but I am doubt if I will do it yes or no. That is why I let it like this. So this deck is also one that I often use for the now let's go deep. Uh, this one is, I love it, it's savage. It's savage, it talks about your moods, it talks about, you know, it lets you know that this, this mood I was in and you know, it's totally like the sun and moon tarot. I mean, the moon, the moon is about our feelings, you know. But yeah, very detailed. Um, the six of swords though every time i get this one i'm like the six of swords you don't see a six of swords in it but you know you you know how the six of swords looks like but then it's like okay and also um this deck has um keywords written on it on top on the top that if it if i don't look at them but sometimes i've been asked like look at a keyword then i will look at the keyword but it's really um not destructive but you can really i don't even look at them unless i get look at them then i look at them you know but i really like this one you also have it in a big uh, not in thin but the big size the normal size I believe but I love this one the small size because then it's it's easy to use when I do the uh, cards on cards but love this I love this deck this deck is beautiful so this is the three little decks that I have now let's go to something that ain't a tarot but I also love to read with so this one is the I Ching uh, Oracle Advice Self-Help um, by Klaus Holitska and Marlies Holitska, Holitska and Klaus Hol I don't know you guys. So the I Ching, not etched, I am thinking of etching them black but I'm like no because this one side is white and this one side is black and I love it so also look at this this is what I love in cards but the I Ching cards it's not a tarot but it works really lovely and beautiful together like this 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 deck is um, it really can tell you where you are at and where you what you have to do or what is happening that will it will change your future or whatever if you keep doing it like you do or you know in that perspective so this is something this this deck i also love it's really deep it's really true it's really also you have white cards that means things will stay the, that way like you can also just read it by looking at the cards or you will um, count the difference that you know of the I, the, the, I think, you know, that it has changed and what is going to change. And the fact that, you know, they all have a meaning like mountain, thunder, um, um, river, I believe, you know, in that way, um, it's beautiful. I love it. You can just look like you can also see a tarot paste. Uh, if you just read the cards, you know, that can also just work. So it can work in many ways. But I love the I Ching way because it's really in depth and it can really, it really mm, reads well. I don't know how to explain it. It's different from tarot, but yet the same as tarot. Does it, does, do I make sense? No, no, no no so like <laughs> this you um you see it's really um this is water upon water i believe let me look at it let me look at it 29 i have marked them because 29 
water upon water okay you see the same symbol like water upon water like this is danger if you look at it it's like you are in you know a cliff and the when the water hits the cliff like danger do you want it do, are you gonna do it you know in that way and then you will have another next to it perhaps like like this and then you will see this one is also uh, the opposition of each other it's uh, let's let's yeah i will read one day for you guys i already did a video with this one you know but i love to read the monthly reading with this one and use these cards as um the self card where you are at and if you keep going what will be perhaps i will do that in the month of february i don't know yet uh, because i have lots of video put out and this takes time so february march look at the monthly reading you know you will see this one so now over to my oracle stack uh, this one is from the mystical shaman oracle from uh, alberto filaroldo filoldo alberto filoldo and colette baron reed and marcella lobos okay lobos spanish I think <laughs> this is the back of the car these cars it has no edges these cards these cards reminds me of my grandmother my grandmother and great great grandmother especially my great great grandmother she's Indian so it's really rooted like it really tells the spirit as I read with these cards, uh, I really can, it's really the spirits is talking like others also, but this one is more the, the ancestors kind of a thing. Like also I love it, how it works with nature. Like there is wind, there is fire, there, but it is in other uh, decks also. Oh, and the sorcerer, love this one also. You know, this is more, I must say this deck, this deck tells me more about the Caribbean side and the South American side of, um, of the root of, of, of tarot, the root of um, the ancient lessons that you got from your great grandmother or your grandmother in that kind of a way also it can also be if you look at it it can also be because you also have that um, 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 more of a, a um, western kind of a, you know europe kind of a history like um, vikings uh, way and also in that kind of a way this deck speaks about all that was ancient learning when it comes to the mystical uh, world and and it's just beautiful you yeah. you really can see all those ancient lessons in it you know the vision quest is just a vision quest i don't get it but okay <laughs> this one the tree of life for example it's it's i i love this card i don't know i love all them cards this deck is really a deck that um speaks of worldwide ancient ways lessons that your great great a grandmother or great great grandmother grandmother have teach you like you know um yeah the caribbean way you know you learn those things like um you need to ask permission before you build on that land you need to in that kind of uh uh, way not permission by humans permission by <laughs> by the earthly you know as because many have to walk that land you need to ask permission before you build your house on that land you know in that way i mean that kind of a thing you i really can um see uh this card i really can see the lessons that i have learned uh, the south uh, the south american way that i have learned in from my um, um, family um, like lineage on lineage that I have learned how to um, you know how how the things works I don't know how to explain more so this card 
this card here, yeah, this card, this card, this card was deep. Just to look at it, it was just deep. I mean, the first time that I got this card, I was like, I found it very scary card. Not, I was not, I was afraid to go deep on it because I didn't know what it will tell me. But once I opened up to it and went deep with it, oof, it was talking also, I, I had it more like also that how things are balanced. And I, with this card, it seems like this is not earthly. This is more outer space, <laughs> like other creatures that has also walked the earth or visit the earth or are walking between us. I don't know. But but that is what I'm, uh, I got with this card. Like if you just dare to go deep in it, but it's like it's watching the earthly realm in that kind of a way. Every time I got, get this card, I look at it. It's like there is something more that is watching us. Do. The, I mean, do you really think we are the only one? If you do, let me know why you think that, okay? Because I love communication, because, because. But it's like, <laughs> it's, it's watching the earthly, I don't know, like deep. It's not always friendly though. You know, it's deeper. I don't know how to explain to you guys, but this card, I know. Okay, so yeah, and then the staff, Moses, <laughs> like the swatch log, this, this, this deck, I finally found a deck, there aren't many of them, but I finally found a deck that is more South America based. If you get what I mean. And I think it's because of Marcella Lobos and Alberto Fil Filoldo. Because this is more South American based. I feel it more like mine root kind of a thing. Or if it isn't, then they just did a good work. Because I really feel this of my uh, um, grand grandparents like that have teach us how how to work with you know with everything so that is the mystical oh the arrow that is the mystical shaman another one that speaks to me more on that south america learning way of life um, is the secret destiny oracle by denise lane uh, it works with the elements uh, no edges this is the back and then the cards edges go but it doesn't matter uh, you, you don't really look at them but it's this one is also worldwide uh, different uh, landscape but also very beautiful very beautiful and very in depth because you I can also see a story in it you know with the new beginnings look at that beautiful right like yes new dawn now new start but with every new start there's new things that you have to learn along the way like it's not a flat walk it is ups and downs you know and then uh, illumination beautiful there is i i, I love this card because i don't know because i have learned to work with elements from a uh, smaller fawn you know um, we didn't look at the weather, what the weather will bring. You will look outside and look at the weather. You will see like, mm, it's going to rain today. You know, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. That is just the South American way of learning, I think. I don't know. But lots of people has learned it that way. It's now that, you know, with the technology, we forget how things normally was done in the past. But yeah, beautiful cards. I don't know what. Oh, also, I love it that they, um, um, the written underneath, like truth. And you look at this card and you be like, okay, truth. But if you look deeper and look into more than the cards, you will see a story in it, you know? 
um, also looks at look at the other cards surrounding it you will understand what this word means also pleasure it's it's just one keyword but that keyword is enough sometimes you have uh, decks with one keyword and you'll be like uh okay you know <laughs> what did that mean <laughs> you know in that way but 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 this this keyword are enough like this one everybody sees it on google you will see it you know it is a famous image but beautiful i love this one also so that is then the secret destiny then we have the monology oracle cards by jasmine boland and artwork by nix rowan um this is the back and i etched mine uh black because it wasn't etched and i etched mine black just because it's goes better i don't know <laughs> um yeah these cards if you want to work with the moon uh you this one is a good one to work with there is another one uh that everybody knows about that i also want to buy but i have to wait with that because i first want to have my indie decks before i go buy another deck that i actually already have one of before i'm mean by that this is my moon card i have two uh, moon card uh, decks moon decks so i'm not gonna buy another moon deck if i can save up and buy an indie deck with that money unless there is a tarot deck or a, or an oracle deck that i have not that kind of a work with you know then i will buy that one but otherwise i just have to sit on it till i have uh, my five indie decks that i really want so these decks um it gives you a, a sentence with what you are working with like a, a capricorn a full moon in capricorn the end of a tough cycles approaches um uh, it's it's easy to work with and it also tells you already what is um, happening your hard work is paying off and you can also use it with um, the cycle of the moon so I love this card like with the new year new year reading um, um, I also worked with uh, the prediction 2021 prediction I will link it so you guys can click and watch that one um, I also work with it so um, with that that you can look at when the new moon is with the deck that you uh, was calculating with and you can then work your magic with it you know in that kind of, kind of way set attentions or releasing things that you know are said and done but yeah this is then the, the you guys have seen this one lots of time passing by i mean the monology very famous oracle uh, deck so yeah so we are sticking with the astrology uh, uh, side this is the black moon astrology card by susan shepherd this is the back, uh, no edges, just white and I was like just keeping them white because of the edges also, no gilding, I'm sorry. Uh, and the edges are white, I'm like, you know, it's, it's, it goes well together, so, you know. So this one, this one is really lovely if you know how astrology works also. It, it, it can give you information about uh, where to look in your chart or what is happening in your chart also or um, how to work with the planets that are now um, um, transiting you know in that kind of a way uh, if, for example if uh, you have um, Jupiter and Saturn right now in conjunction with each other um, um, and you pull a Jupiter card and um, you can then see in which house that is working for you you know in that kind of a way also jupiter in turn benefits it's it's teach you a lot about astrology but um you can also work with it with whatever you know about astrology it's 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 lovely it's beautiful if you want to know more about astrology you can uh, buy this deck to learn from the book is also 
So as I was saying, the book is also very uh, knowledgeable. So yeah. Um, yeah, I don't read as much with this one though. This is also, you know, um, I mean, yes, I do read with it, with it but for um, um, really more if I want to know if, if we are talking about monthly based things like that, you know, um, predictions when it's about uh, future in that kind of a way. So that is the Black Moon Astrology cards. So then we have the Lantern Oracle by uh, Angelina Mirabito and illustrated by Julie Alejo, Alejo or Alejo. Uh, but yeah, this one is recently released. This this one is a new one. The reason I bought this these cards not uh, not the only reason but look at look at the box yeah look how beautiful beautiful oh that was the thing that drew me in like next to uh, of course i was looking at it like what what is the thing but but love it isn't it funny this is the first card because I will draw cards uh, what to work with and, and so, so I will, this one was the first one um, that I got to work with and then I will sit with it for a week and then um, learn from whatever it is that I need to know. Now this card is more on a, a personal base and it talks about the ages in life. You have different faces uh, that you can uh, work with, you know. But very beautiful, very beautiful. And, and it's only women based, but you can work with it if you are a man. It, it's, it talks about the feminine side of it all, you know. But it's really a self-care deck. Is that is that the right word? But you can use it also for uh, reading, but because I also use it for reading. So, but yeah, look at this one. Beautiful. You have keywords and then also what they mean uh, because um, this one is different from the keywords of secret destiny. You know, uh, emotional energy is, is simple, but you know, but you have also uh, more keywords, uh, for example, emotions are messengers uh, to be met with, appropriate attention, action, and gratitude. Beautiful cards, really, really beautiful cards. Love this. This is really beautiful. Really, that's the reason, because this one, you also have it in the deck, but that's the reason the artwork really drew me in, and then Oh, look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. Weeping wound. You are not your wound. And then look at the, uh, the, the um, illustrate, uh, illustration. It is just speaks so much things. It's, it's really lots of depth, beauty, love it. Trusting the trickster. Oh, this one. This one is, uh, I believe, because you have different... Let me see. You have different um, um, stages. Like you have the maiden. It begins with the maiden. Then the face mother. Then the face guardian. Then the face crone. You know, it has four, um, um, four uh, faces. Like that you can work with. And this one is the maiden. Where you are... Uh, learning that how other people from the outside also um, are influencing you you know then you are going to learn how the world outside then then your home life also can um, influence you you know so really love it love it you guys love it love it just love it so yeah beautiful now let's go to the next one so then for my animal decks, 
Mm, I do not have much of animal decks, only the crow tarot. No, I do have the tarot base, but this is the only oracle, I believe, that uh, are, is based on only animals. So, uh, the spirit animal oracle. Uh, the artist is Jenna della Grottaglia. Grottaglia. Jenna della de Grottaglia and uh, Colette Baron Reed uh, as the author. Now, this is the bag and it's it has no it's not gilded and uh yeah the it, the artist the art the artwork it's it's lovely it's beautiful and um then you have also key uh, a, a sentence of uh, the dog spirit be loyal to what you love uh in that way but this uh, oh, the artwork is really the thing for me i i I mean, it's the artwork that tells the stories, the artwork that I can see things in, you know. So, um, yeah, the keyword, of course, is also important, but um, I'm a census kind of a girl, you know. So, yeah. I love working with this. Also, this one is also, as I said, with the other Colette Baron reads, because I have a lot of Colette Baron reads. Um, um, this one you can also put with another deck of hers and, and read with it, you know? Then you have a, a match up that you can then work with. Message are very beautiful in this one also. It also lets you know how things uh, works with the animal, like wasp spirit, sometimes lost things. But you needed that lesson to, you know, move forward to, to populate whatever that it is that you're going to do in the future so you don't do it uh, again and again. Unless you want to get stung again and again by the bee, then go ahead <laughs> in that kind of a way. Think on your feet, the fox spirit. So yeah, I love this deck. It's beautiful. That is always enough. It reads really well. And it's uh, lately that I really put uh, all cards down. You know, I often shuffle just to shuffle and let the guides tell me what it is that I need to receive. And this lately that I only did it with only this deck. And the message was just beautiful. That was like, oh, wow. Oh, okay. I did not expect that from you guys. So yeah, that's the oracle, um, the spirit animal. So, and then we have another Colette Baron read the wisdom of the oracle, also together with Jenna de la Grottaglia. Um, this is the back, not gilded, just white. And I love it because the edges are also white. So you don't, it doesn't, it works nicely together. Um, so yeah, this one, also beautiful, uh, also everybody knows this one, this one is one that is well known in the tarot and oracle community, so yeah, um, this one doesn't have, it only has keywords, so you have to work with that, but the cards also speaks, you know, you can also read the guidebook, um, but the cards really speak beautifully also so you can just work with the cards and the keyword that it gives you but i have to say um sometimes the art uh, you know i don't like I, 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 the the colette baron read the how it's written about it it gives you more information but i'm not a guidebook kind of girl but i must say Strangely enough, with this oracle deck, this one, I love reading the guidebook. I was like, oh, it, it's really in depth. If you have this one, let me know what you think about the guidebook because it was really, it, 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 it really talked to me. This is the only deck that I have that when I read the guidebook, I was like, Oh wow, yes, I, I can see that, yes, you know, in that way. But otherwise, I don't read the, the guidebook. <laughs> I don't know. I read the guidebook if 
I have to read the guidebook if I'm being guided to read the guidebook. Otherwise, no. Like, yeah. But the guidebook isn't bad, y'all. The guidebook isn't bad. It gives you just more information about um, uh, the um, keyword. So, yeah. This card is so beautiful. So, that is it for um, the Wisdom of Oracle. Now, to the next one. So the next one is the Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra and Taylor. And the artist is Jenna de la Grotaglia. I think, I think, I think, now I'm thinking about it. I think I like the artist's work because this one and this one is from her. These two. Uh, which one is also from her? I don't know. And then this one. I think I like her artwork. That is why um, I am drawn to it, I think. I will write down which one, what, what work she already did when it comes to Oracle and Tarot Cards by Jenna de la Grotaglia. So yeah, this is the back. And no, uh, it's not gilded or anything. And then it does has golden edges. And only a keyword, so you guys know. This one is also, I really think it's the artwork of her. I just come to realize that it's her artwork that draws me in <laughs> when I, I buy uh, Oracle cards, that's by her. Now I'm gonna look at her, but this one also it speaks so much. It speaks so much every time I read this, this one and the cards that are around it, it really talks about how. You can make your home as beautiful as you want, but you will always be curious, curious about what's behind it. You know, some people, you know, you can have a beautiful home, everything that you want, but some people just want to be into the world, be having more, see more. You know, I'm one of that kind of a people. Um, my home is everywhere where my loved ones are. We can live everywhere into the world. I mean, I'm a South American girl, Caribbean girl, but I love Asia. <laughs> I love especially the Korean culture. I mean, I young as all. I also am um, learning the language. I love the culture. And no, I'm not a, 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 how do you say it, a Korean boo kind of a thing that you love the men's. No, it is the culture. I am a culture kind of a girl. You can tell me about your culture or the history about your culture. And I will sit in all awe and listen to whatever that it is, your family history and that. You know, I love history and I love culture. I don't know. That is perhaps a Pacific, a Pacific uh, place when it comes to my Sagittarius, you know. So, yeah. But, okay, back to the cards. <laughs> the card speaks a lot. And the thing is, there is a differences also in it. Because it talks about the earthly realm, but you also have the chakras in it. And um, also the spiritual world, the angels, you know. It, it has, you can say, four different things, four different uh, kind. Like this one is looks like the, the it's like the, the queen of um, swords. Like the, the chakra, you have the fourth chakra and then Archangel Raphael. So then we have uh, Work Your Light uh, Oracle Cards by Rebecca Campbell and artwork by Danielle, Danielle Noll. So I was thinking about what I was saying and I was like, perhaps it's because the, and there are faces on it. And that is the thing because here you don't see faces and I do find the message like Pleiades. And you know that it is a human going on earth that has a, a special mission, you know. So perhaps it's because there is a face in it like this one also has a face, but you cannot really... Perhaps it's because I find I can see more of myself in it. I don't know.
and then you have my last <laughs> oracle or uh, is it the oracle like uh, funny the the end of this one is also the one on the deck so this is the universe has your back um by gabrielle bernstein and artwork by uh michaela esra i'm sorry if i butchering your name this is the back has no uh it's not gilded and yeah so you have different um affirmations uh, that you can use this one i don't use it as much um i do use it as an end you know like uh your end affirmation card that you can work with in that kind of a way so yeah this is the last one y'all you guys have been chit chatting with me i mean i'm with you guys talking about more than just the cards so yeah so because this is the end let me see what message this deck has for us and then we are close out let me know what you found uh, if you found this thing uh, this 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 sit through and talk if you found it uh, uh lovely i mean i love looking at um people that are doing this but i don't know if you guys uh, liked it so yeah now the card we got is attack pain fear Judgment and any form of separation are merely calls for help. I don't know why we got that, but okay. <laughs> Let me pull one more because, oh, it's, it's a little, it, it, no, it, it, if this is a message for you, then it is a message for you, okay? But attack, pain, fear, judgment and any form of separation are merely calls for help let's see one more please so yeah this is actually all my decks i will do this every end of the year i will show you guys uh, uh what decks i'm working with or has no because these are all of them but yet i have lots of other decks that i want to work with thanks to me watching people that talks lovely about that uh, Lisa Papes <laughs> so made my wish list more longer but okay so this one is in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring towards to bring me towards right-minded thinking and the energy of love amen to that yes so and that is it for you guys don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell Comment down below and I'll see you guys on another uh, video of mine. So yeah, bye bye.